Um, what I would do is, if I wanted to go and simplify this, I know I need to write it as a product. Now, you guys already see, I already wrote down those numbers for you, right? I was very nice. I was like, I want to make sure they have these. So I would make sure you guys have this somewhere in your notes as we're going to go over today, just to make sure you guys keep these. All right, make sure you have these written down somewhere so you can remember them, or at least it's an easy place to go back and find them. Well, these are all numbers you can take the square root of, right? And I wrote that down in your paper. The square root of 81 is 9. Right? So these are all numbers you can take the square root of. That's why they're very important. And the purpose of this is to take this number in the radical, under the radical, and rewrite it as a product of one of these numbers. Now, this is a high number, 243. And I don't know anything off the top of my head. So what I'll simply do is I'm just going to work and see which number divides into it. So I'll just take 245 divided by, obviously, I know that. I know 225 is not going to divide into there evenly, right? 196, 144. I know this. This double is 288, so I know it doesn't divide into there. This doubled is 242, right? That's 200. Let's just try 81 for things. So I'll do 245 divided by 81, 3.02. So it doesn't divide into there evenly, OK, Jordan? Then we take 243 divided by 64. 3.79, so that doesn't work. Then I take 245 divided by um, 49, and that's 5. That's good. So I have 9 times 49 times 5. Does everybody see that? So you always want to start from the largest number to and going up to the smallest. So do you guys agree with me that 49 times 5 is the same thing as 245? But what's important is now I have this square number. Can I take the square root of 49? Yes. The square root of 49 is 7. So I can now write this as nine. I can rewrite this as 7 times the square root of 5. And there's a number outside the radical, or the radicand, or the radical. So now, what you can do is, when you have numbers outside of a radical, you can multiply them. You cannot multiply a number outside to the inside. Okay? But you can multiply these two. So your final answer is 63 times the square root of 5. Okay? Done, son.